What is happening, Magnesites? Will it bite? Will it bite? So this sounds like it may not be a uh, particular, you know, let, let the thing bite me challenge. It's a if it will bite me challenge. Interesting. Uh, I guess for the sake of all of us, it does bite you so we get more entertainment and education out of it. Let's see what's up here, because I thought the Black Widow was pretty, was poisonous enough to kill you, but most of the time not. I'm sure they'll educate us on it. Let's do this. I'm Carrie Peterson, and I'm about to free handle the Black Widow spider. Are you ready? Let's do it. Here we go. One. Two. Three. It doesn't want to come out. I guess we shall see. What I'm about to do here is prove that the Black Widow is not out to bite you. I'm going to actually free handle this spider. Okay. You guys ready for this? Not out to bite us. This is a different challenge here. Uh, well, I didn't tell you at the beginning of the episode. I told you I know I told Mario. And I said, to really disprove that the Black Widow is just out there to bite you, I'm going to let it walk on my hands and on my arms and hopefully not take a bite. I'm Carrie Peterson, and I'm about to free handle the Black Widow spider. Are you ready? Let's do it. Time to get bit. Let's do this. One, two, three. I looks like a lot of animals don't want to bite you. She's actually spun a little thread of web. Like she's become a secure tube. I was actually about to bite. Nope. Nope. Now, one thing most people don't realize about the Black Widow spider is that if it does inflict a bite, that bite is oftentimes just a warning, and they aren't actually injecting as much venom as they would into, say, a prey item. They're not looking to kill you as a human. They're simply looking to startle you so that they can ultimately get away. Getting covered in spider web right yeah. now. Yeah. Can get her back into Is she wrapping you up? Is she wrapping you up? I gotta get some of this weapon off of There you go. Well, he made it. He made it. And every single time that I move my arm, I can feel that web pulling and pulling her. And what I'm afraid of is that she's gonna get startled and then inflict the bite. The question is, am I calm enough to let her get back on my hand? Now let's see. He just gonna keep doing it until he get bit. The spider's not biting me because I'm not applying any pressure to its body. Ooh, now I can't see her where she pulled her going on that side. And he couldn't and feel her walking on his palm. She feels very comfortable right there. On the edge of my thumb, I'm making my hand incredibly stiff. I see the little TVs. You may notice that the tone of my voice has slightly changed. That is because she is right on the edge of my thumb. You see that? Mm. Oh, I'm sure a lot of you out there who have arachnophobia are watching me handle the spider. So you're like you're just waiting. Cringing in your seat. She seems calm. And um, I will not lie, my mouth is getting dry, and I'm trying my best to not shake my hand right now, despite the fact that I'm incredibly nervous. I'm gonna very slowly turn my hand. Well, I would definitely say that this was pretty intense. Free handling the one and only Black Widow Spider. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next location. You lucky bastard. You lucky bastard. <laughs> Good thing he knew what he was doing. Um, yeah, because uh, I tell you, getting bit by a spider ain't fun. I've been bitten a couple of times in my face and didn't know it. And both times my face full of like a damn mask. It was only the side of my face that I got bitten on too. And I knew I got bitten by a spider because when I went to the doctor about it, he was like, oh my God, what bit you? That's what he said as soon as he saw me. 
as soon as he saw me, that's what he said. So, um, and then it happened again later on, like a few years or months later. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? And at this point, I actually could feel where it was bitten. It was kind of tender and hurting. Yeah, not fun. Uh, probably, with me, it might have been, I don't know, I think we have wolf spiders around here. I think that's my, my what, what it was that bit me. I think that's what they're called. I don't think it was a brown recluse, because I think they can kill you too. But I got a buddy, I think he was bitten by a brown recluse because he, he had been bitten in his hand. He asked me to take him to the hospital. We both worked at the same place and his hand was swelling up and the skin was starting to split. It was nasty looking. And, and uh, he told me the next day, he said, the doctor was like, you're lucky you came here and you didn't go home and go to sleep. He said, because it was like making this red line up his arm. He was like... It was like, it, it could have definitely killed you. It was like, it ran, went all the way up to your brain and killed you. I was like, I saved your life, nigga. Uh, 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 uh. Well, crazy coyote, there was no bite this time. Look forward to the next video where you are bitten. No offense. You know, it's just it's what you do, you know. Post comments down below. Let me know what you all thought if you enjoyed my reaction. Coyote and Bray Wilderness, hit the like button, subscribe and share, and subscribe to them. If you did not, you can kiss all of our wild wilderness hairy derriers. 10 million subscribers. Woo!